Speaking of that, many jihadists believe that Europe will one day be part of that very caliphate. It's easy to see why. As we reported here numerous times, Europe is under siege by radical Islamic forces that it seems unable to contain. The Islamists are growing in strength and numbers, and as my colleague Dale Hurd reports, they're building mega mosques and lots of them. Watch this. Mosheo de Roma, the Great Mosque of Rome, shown in this video by the architect Paolo Portoghese. It is the largest mosque in Europe with room for 12,000 worshippers, and it is a powerful symbol for Italy's fast-growing Muslim population, shown here praying illegally in the streets of Rome. Large mosques have been built or are on the drawing board in virtually every major city in Europe. The skyline of Cologne, Germany has been dominated for centuries by its famous cathedral, the largest Gothic church in Northern Europe. But soon this church will share the skyline with the 150-foot tall minarets of this mosque, now under construction. The Cologne Mosque, which is being funded by the government of Turkey, is opposed by groups who see it as a piece of Turkish territory in the heart of Germany. This mosque is a symbol of political power. Uh, this is a symbol of Islamization in the center of Europe, and sp especially this mosque in Cologne-Ehrenfeld. In fact, many of the large mosque projects in Europe are funded by the Turkish government, some by the Saudis, this one planned for Copenhagen is being built with money from Iran's Revolutionary Guard. It's not really a mosque, it's, it's more like a barracks. It's going to be an institution uh, that will terrorize not only Danes, but primarily non-obedient uh, Iranians. In London, a plan to build a mega mosque, the largest in Europe, ran into strong public opposition and has been downsized. But in Cologne and other cities, the left wing has shown itself to be very pro-mosque and sometimes demonstrates violently against mosque opponents. The Great Mosque of Rome and the growing number of giant mosques across Europe are changing not only the physical landscape, experts say they're likely to change the political landscape as well. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Now that is a story you won't see anywhere else. You know it's interesting. Islam's prophet Muhammad once predicted that Islam would conquer Rome. I'm sure he never thought that the Romans and the rest of Europe would just sit back and let it happen. But in many cases, and with help, of course, from the political left, that's exactly what's happening. Sound familiar, America? Over the past 10 years alone, the number of mosques in America has nearly doubled, from 1,200 in 2001 to over 2,000 today. That's not a coincidence. And rest assured, when we look at Europe today, we're looking at our future.